Hi everybody, um, this is going to be my review of the Echo SRM225 string trimmer. It's a straight shaft trimmer, as you can see. Um, first of all, um, I really like this trimmer. Um, it's a good quality, um, pretty lightweight trimmer. And it doesn't cost, it's like, I got it on sale for like 200 bucks or something at Home Depot. And the nice thing about straight the straight shaft series of trimmers on uh, the echo cells is that you can convert them to a brush cutter with a conversion kit you can buy it's like thirty dollars at home depot um, i've only replaced this i've never replaced the spark plug in it and it's about two years no i got it it's gonna is this is I, I this is the second year i've had it um i got it last year no two years ago so it's gonna be the third year i've had it actually um, but I've had it for three years, like I said. Um, it has a speed feed head on it, so that's it. Um, it's you don't have to take the head apart to rewind the um, trimmer line. You just put it. You stick. You turn the knob on the head and like line it up with the eyelets, and then stick the trimmer line through, and um, and then turn the knob to turn it to roll it up in the trimmer line or in the trimmer head so that's pretty nice to so you don't have to take it apart it takes like 30 seconds to do so um it holds i usually put like eight or nine feet of trimmer line in it once but um it can hold like 15 feet and actually i have have about 15 feet right now in it um yeah it's a very is it only 21.2 cc um, so it's kind of, um, it's not the biggest trimmer they have, it's one, it's like the, um, first, it's like the lowest, end, low end string trimmer you can buy, the straight shaft trimmer. Um, it's got, um, it, it has the, um, brush cutter kit, like I said, you can buy for it. And I just keep the harness clip on it right here. Um, let's see if you can see that. The harness clip is just right in front of the handle here. I just keep it on there because it's easier than taking. Because to do to put the harness clip on it, you have to take the front handle off, the gearbox, all that at the end, which is kind of a pain to do because it takes like half an hour to do because you have to do it properly and but. I just prefer to leave it on, it's easier. Um, I've never had to adjust the carburetor, um, never cleaned the carburetor on it. I've only replaced the fuel filter twice, the air filter once. No, the air the fuel filter's only been once either. Um, and then the spark plug, I said, has never been changed. Um, and I'll do a cold start at the end of this video, but. Um, the fuel tank holds a good amount of fuel. It, I can usually trim for about two and a half hours on it, on one tank of fuel before it starts to sputter and die with, when it's, cause it's running low on fuel. But um, it's a very good trimmer. Um, I I like it. Um, eventually, I'll probably upgrade to like a still um, FS90R or something. Um, but yeah, it's a very good trimmer, um, for my, for my needs. Um, so anyways. Sorry about that. I was doing something on my phone. Um, somebody texted me. But anyways, it's a very good trimmer for my needs. Um, so... It has an anti-vibration system on it. Somebody just texted me. Hold on. Okay. So I'll do a cold start of it right now. Um, it's probably got about 15 hours on it, I imagine. I use it primarily at church also, like my blower. Um, 
But yeah, it has an anti-vibration system. So I'll show you the thing. Uh, that thing right here is a grommet that separates the engine from your from the shaft end. Which is kind of nice because it keeps the vibrations not so high. And it has a throttle trigger interlock system. So you have to squeeze this down to use the throttle trigger. Um, and then the stop switch is right here. But, so I'll turn it on. I, the choke is right here on the back. And then I usually give it like three primes, three or four primes. So we'll move this over here. Sometimes bogs down when I'm trimming pretty thick grass, um, but other than that, it really is pretty good. It has pretty good power. Um, but anyways, um, this is just my review of it. Um, if you have any questions, write a comment below the video. Um, if you have a video request, write that in a comment below the video. But as always, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you later.